The Prize in the Cracker Jack Box. Presented by Stella Frog. I'm late. I need to get back to the office. Okay, let's go. You don't remember, do you? Remember what? Oh, you're so romantic. This is where we met for lunch on our first date, exactly a year ago. <laughs> no. For our first date, we went to Armando's for dinner, and it was on the weekend. No, that was the first night we had sex. Is that the only thing you remember? The time you got laid? Hey, I'm teasing you, darling. Of course I remember this is where we had our first date, but it hasn't been exactly one year because we met on Monday, and today's Thursday. One year exactly to the calendar date, not the day of the week. You said, to the day. Oh my god, why are you being so... My car is out this door. I know. But let's walk through the mall. That's the long way. And besides, you hate malls. Yeah, but it's cold outside. Humor me. It's 70 degrees, for crying out loud. Well, I just wanted to show you these earrings in this store. Really? Yeah. These earrings, here. Those earrings. <laughs> no, not those. I do have some taste. But I would like you to get some that you think are pretty for our anniversary. You mean to atone for forgetting our anniversary, don't you? No! I planned to bring you here all along. Nice try, but you're a terrible liar. Okay, you caught me. You got me dead to rights. I didn't want to look at your rings. I was thinking that maybe we should look at some engagement rings. Possibly, maybe, perhaps. Really? You're serious, aren't you? Yes, I am serious. How about that one? Ooh, I really like that. Maybe you do have some taste after all. Can we see that one, please? Certainly. Okay, I gotta ask. That one she's holding is 20K. There's one right there that's only $6,000. And to me, it looks exactly the same, except that the cheaper one is actually brighter and more sparkly. They're very similar, but... What? What's the big but? <sighs> nope, nope. Too easy. I'll leave it alone. You're so funny. The key difference is this one's a lab-grown or synthetic diamond, and the other one is a natural diamond. I could have told you that. We definitely only want a real diamond. I, right, but aren't they the same? I mean, they're both pure carbon. I mean, I get that one's made in a lab and the other is quote-unquote real. But what else? I mean, if I might ask, contributes to such a massive price disparity. Well, there's also the fact that a natural diamond has imperfections. A lab-grown one does not. Wait. Hang on. D don't you have that backwards? Don't you mean that the synthetic one has imperfections, but the real diamond doesn't? No, natural diamonds have the imperfections. You can actually see them in many cases. That's how you know that they're natural. A synthetic diamond, because it's man-made, is perfect. It has no flaws. So it's $6,000 for perfection, okay? But if you're willing to accept visible flaws, we're only going to charge you 15 times more? I think I'd describe this situation a little differently, but essentially, yes, you're right. So it's like make the bed, except leave my side unmade, or don't brush your teeth completely, leave little flecks of spinach between the ones in front, buy the new Mercedes with the big scratch on the hood. Okay, we get it. I'm not, I don't think you do. Human beings have prized perfection since the beginning of time, and now they want you to pay more for flaws. Don't encourage him. Okay. How about this imperfect scenario? What if I were to say, kneel down here, in the middle of Tiffany's? And what if I were to pull out a Cracker Jack box? And then, what if I were to have you pull out from said box one of those little plastic rings, and then I asked you to marry me? What would you say to that? Well, really... Plastic? I think that'd be romantic. Yeah, romantic. And cheap. <sighs> well, let's see this one in white gold, please. Well, I can show it to you in white gold, but it's already been sold. Actually, it was sold today. Really? Today's the 19th, right? Oh, wait a minute. It was a year ago today. Seriously? Yes. To a Mr. Winslow? But wait a minute, that's... I had a feeling you'd like that one. Wait, what? But when did you... I mean, how did you... What were you... After I walked you to your car that first afternoon, I came back here and put down a deposit. A year ago? Why did you wait so long to ask me? By the way, you are asking me to marry you, aren't you? Yes. I absolutely am. So why'd you wait? Because 
I didn't want to push or pressure you or scare you off. I waited because I love you. I mean, I was going to tell you how I went about purchasing the ring. I was just going to save that story for our wedding day. Oh my god, how romantic. And now you went and spoiled it by telling me. Uh-huh.